Hello everyone, I hope you are all good in uh, positive energy. Uh, we are in the energy of this full moon in Aquarius now. It is time for you for in, with this full moon to release any karmic patterns, anything that doesn't serve your highest good and interest. This is the full moon for releasing anything old, past wounds, traumas, anything that you want to let go, it, it is the right time to release now. <clears throat> this is a reading for the person that you have in your mind. We will have a look for that person in your mind. This is about my Leo. Uh, what is their current energy for the moment? What uh, they are, uh, in what situation they are? Uh, what are uh, their feelings towards you? If they have any, if they know you? I don't know if you are a secret admirer. Um, what are their intentions towards you and advice and outcome? Please uh, remember that this is reading is general. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And let's see Leo for the person in their mind. What is the current energy for the person in my Leo's mind? My Leo's people mind. What's this person's energy right now for the person in your mind? Their current energy. Show me the cards I need to see, please, for the current energy. This is the card of Leo. <laughs> it popped out. Strength, the angel of courage. What's the current energy for the person in my Leo's mind? Their current energy, their current situation. I need to see. The Four of Cups. What's the current energy for the person in my Leo's mind? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. The Four of Cups. Well, that person is holding back from you. This is what I see with your card here and the Four of Cups. Is holding back for the moment from you. many cards the hermit the five of cups and the five of wands many of them are I have have an offer for a new beginning Maybe in their finances or in their love life, the Ace of Pentacles and now the Ace of Cups. As I said, for their love life, they have a new offer. They are involved in another commitment and that's why they are holding back from you. <sighs> the Nine of Wands. For many of them, their current situation in their love life and finances, as I see here, especially in their love life, they are with the five of wands and the five of cups and the nine of wands. There are so many burdens and the ten of swords uh, in reverse, they are there is the hermit here also. They 
they want to get out from this situation that they are in, but they are fighting with themselves. Um, but many of them are determined to come out of this. They are struggling inside, but with the Hermit and this determination card here, they are determined to get out because in whatever commitment or situation they, they are into and they are not happy for sure for sure they are doing their strategy how to get out of this and they are holding back from you from many of you to protect you because I see, yes, it is you again. <laughs> the sun is under the strength. Your energy comes out twice. You are feeling rejected. You, for, for some of you, you offered your cup of love. But... They rejected your love. <sighs> Their feelings towards you. For many of you, you are their sunshine, their happiness, their comfort, their support. Or do they see my Leo people? How this person sees my Leo people? The person in your mind. How they see you? How they view you? As a, what? For many of you, you are already in contact with this person. I see a lot of communication, texting, calling. Mostly they see you as support. You are trying to comfort them, to support them in anything that they are doing. But I said this before and with the Nine of Cups I see here, they are blessed to have you in their life. They feel blessed to have you in their life. They don't want to destroy the balance between you two. They don't want conflicts, fights. You bring them happiness. They see you as a person with integrity. They see you as a blessing as a very joyful, happy person. The angel of guidance. You, you are advising this person, supporting this person. But we have here also, some of you are dealing with Libra, Cancer, I see here, Virgo, I said before, or with another Leo. It can be any sign or this can be in their uh, chart or this can be their energy. Why is the seven of souls here for how they see you? Because for some of you, I see that they feel you are lying to them about something. Yes, there is a uncertainty. This is uncertainty. In this deck, the Two of Swords is the card of uncertainty. They are not sure for their feelings. They are confused with this Seven of Swords here. But you, with the Six of Cups and the Sun, you see them as your soulmate, as your, as your divine counterpart. Yes, this person has 
third, this is a third party situation for the most of you. And for many of you, you think that this person is single, but this person is not single. For some of you, children are involved in this, a, a child. <clears throat> a third party can be anything, a lover, a child, a parent, a relative, a friend, a anybody, okay? Anybody who can be in the middle of a situation and... But for many of you, I see there is another person and I see that between you and the other person, they are choosing the other person. What's the intentions of the person in your mind towards you? Their intentions towards you in the nearest future. Let's see their intentions towards you. Resolution. What is this resolution about? Some of you are dealing with Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Resolution. For what? What is this magician here? Clarify the magician. Yes, uh, it can be strongly Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They will continue the same pattern with you as you are now, friends, lovers, whatever you are. But for many of you, or for some of you, who are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see commitment. They want a future with you. And with the Six of Swords, and I have here the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, but the Knight of Cups. This is the card of commitment. If you can read this, I, I don't know, with the, the light here, if you can read commitment. The card of commitment and the Six of Swords is moving forward. We have, it can be a person that you have a difference in age or a person who is a kind of immature or ch acting a little bit childish according to their age but they trust you they fully trust you i have the trust here and i have an offer for commitment For others of you, I see that things are moving so slow and the situation is progressing the same way that it is for the moment. I don't see any, for those of you who are dealing with the third party situation, mostly, I don't see this person. Yes, now this person is from page to knight to king of pentacles. Mostly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, their energy here. Too many pentacles, earth sign. For whoever I'm talking to, uh, this commitment is coming from Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever is dealing with uh, these signs or this, uh, the, this uh, zodiac in the chart. What else do my Leo people need to know for the person in their mind? What do my Leo people need to know for the person in your mind? Let's 
Queen of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Support. Again, the support card. Again. They know that you are honest, that you are, that you cut with your sword. For, for them, you have this energy of the Queen of Swords. You are a stable, abundant person. You are a person good for family, to make a family. For some of you, this person is married. Generosity. These are all their feelings and thoughts about your person. Generous, supportive, joyful, fair with the justice, comforting them, advising them. Any other? Action. Some of you may be dealing with Aries. What is this full card here for my oh the nine of swords? Whoever is dealing with this Aries, this Aries is in a very bad state of mind psychology. They are not good at all. And if this is a married person, this person that they are married to, they are taking advantage of them for their money and they know it. And they know it. They are in a lot of stress. I see tears here. For the most of you, I see that your person has a life changing choice to make with the lovers. But they, uh, they need to put work and effort in this, and they will, because I see this in the nearest future coming, the Ace of Swords, victory. A choice between two, you have victory here. For those who are dealing with Gemini, you have the victory card here. So I want to see with another deck. Let's see for each zodiac, for Leo, the person on their mind, from Mary's to Pisces, the person on my Leo's mind, from Aries to Pisces. I will get two cards for each zodiac, from Aries to Pisces, for the person in your mind, for all my Leo out there. Please, Spirit, give me two cards for those who are dealing with an Aries. Aries, Leo with Aries. Leo with Aries. Though I already said about this Aries. Leo, Leo with Aries. Leo dealing with Aries. I need to see two cards. Yes, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. Yes, as I said before, this person has another person. They are involved with someone else. There is only intimacy between Leo, who is dealing with the Aries. Nothing more. Leo with dealing with Taurus. 
Leo with Taurus. Leo with Taurus. One more card, please. For Leo with Taurus. Leo with Taurus. The Seven of Swords. Deception, lies, cheating, betrayal. Leo with Taurus. And the hanged man. Yes, betrayal, backstabbing, lies, cheating. And you are stuck in this situation. There is no change. Leo with Gemini. Two cards, please. Leo with Gemini. Leo dealing with the Gemini. Leo with the Gemini. The Two of Swords and the High Priestess. Leo with the Gemini. Confusion and there are secrets that your intuition is telling you that there is a third party. And there is. Gemini Cancer, Leo dealing with the Cancer, Leo dealing with the Cancer, what do they need to know? Leo dealing with the Cancer, one more card please for Leo with Cancer. Communication, very fast coming, communication, I see a message here, a phone call. This is a divine connection and divine union that is coming towards you. Leo with Cancer. Leo with uh, Leo. Leo with Leo. Conflicts. Leo with Leo was. Conflicts and a departure. Constant conflicts and moving on. Somebody is leaving. Leo dealing with Virgo. Leo with Virgo. Oh, too many cards. Leo dealing with Virgo. Two more cards, please. For Leo with Virgo. Leo with Virgo. What's going on between Leo who is dealing with the Virgo? The King of Swords. Very cold hearted person focused on their money, on their job, focused on their finances. Leo dealing with uh, oh Jesus ah. uh. mm. Leo with Libra and I see Libra here. This is a soulmate connection, very honest and stable. Oh. Leo with Scorpio, a new love offer for my Leos who are, who don't know this person, this is a new Scorpio coming your way, this is a masculine energy for the most of you, this is unconditional love.
Hum, o escorpião. Uhum. Eu e Sagitários. Eu e Sagitários. Deixa eu ver o casamento seu. O Drilho, o Drilho, o Vida Sagitários. Aqui no Pentacles. And the World. This is an ending of a cycle. Or maybe an offer from a person who is different from you, different culture, different country, different religion, different color, origin, whatever. This is a stable, solid new offer. And for others of you, I see completion of this cycle. Leo with Capricorn. King of Cups, you love this person too much. And Leo with Capricorn. Ooh. But there is nothing more than this. This is one sided love. And you are battling inside you, you are struggling. This is in the conflict with the Five of Wands. Inner conflict inside you with the Capricorn. You may offer them their, your love and they rejected it, but it's one-sided love only from your side. And you know it. For many of you, you know it. That's why you are fighting inside of you. Leo with Aquarius. Taking the leap of faith for taking this commitment to a higher level, I see. A brand new person coming for marriage. Aquarius. Aquarius. And Leo with Pisces. Leo with Pisces, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Only intimacy with Pisces. Nothing more. And you are both in the same level with Pisces. Only intimacy. This is what I have for the person in your mind. For my Leo people. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. Uh... If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please consider doing so, so I can pick up your energy easier for my future readings. Your cards are strongly in this reading. The Strength card, the Sun card. Uh, for all my subscribers, thank you for your support. I'm checking and following up your comments. And... I am removing and blocking any person who is talking, uh, who is commenting with um, hate speech or dirty talks or scammers. Be careful from this. Also, I will never contact you for asking money or uh, personal readings or whatever. If anybody is Contacting you is not me. Have this in mind. There are a lot of scammers in YouTube lately. And um, please feel free to comment how this resonates with you. Like this video if it resonates with you, if you like it. And if you like it, I will do more. Uh, I will do it in a weekly basis just to pick up your person's uh, situation. <laughs> What are they doing just to, let's say, spy on them? And if you like this reading. And um, um, thank you for watching. And I'm sending you love and light. Thank you.